When the drug cause DLC arrived, many people were complaining about the Kea Perico heist either being broken or too hard. So I thought I'd take a look myself and see what's up, and talk you through the fastest and easiest ways to now get the elite challenge done and what not to do in order to stay stealthy. Doing this solo, I managed a time of 6 minutes to get the elite, which saw me taking secondary loot from the main dock. So let's take a look at what has changed and how to beat it. For the purpose of this video, I will be taking the long fin and entering through the front of the compound and through the drainage tunnel for comparison. The first change, which happened after the Criminal Enterprises DLC, is how you can no longer press the cinematic button here to steal your boat sooner. Because the guards can now spot dead bodies, you will always want to head to the compound first. If you try and grab secondaries first, let's say from the main dock, you may need to kill a guard or two. Which will be spotted by the passing vehicle, therefore ending your elite challenge. Some cameras can now also spot you through walls. Once you are inside the compound, no guards will alert the island from outside. The five potential guards which have the gate keys are still the same. Two of them will not be spotted by any guards after they die due to where they are positioned, and that's this guard here and the one up the stairs. Bodyguards, they know their soldiers and they will know you are not one of them, no matter what uniform you are wearing. The juggernaut's route means that he will eventually reach these stairs. So if you need to, only kill this guard when he's around the side of this wall. As for the one downstairs, if solo, you should be out by the time the juggernaut comes round to him. And as for the two by the pool, using the assault shotgun always alerted the guards. Popping them with a handgun does not. The aggressor loadout has always been the best, as the juggernaut can easily be killed with it, and in doing so, eliminates 90% of your problems. However, any stray particles of shrapnel can alert nearby guards, so bear this in mind. If doing this with two players or more, killing the juggernaut around here and the walking guard is best. The next issue is after collecting the primary target, new guards will spawn. Depending on where you went hunting for the keycards and killing guards depends on where the problem areas will be. It's then best to have your partner patrol outside to take them down before they spot any dead bodies. The guards will only spawn in these areas if you are not there or have moved away, so you may need to return to take them out. Once you're outside, the same bike jump route off the cliff still works. We are out of the compound and judging by the radio chatter, they have no idea they've been hit. Now get off that island! Attack boats in the water. Be careful. If you still need secondaries, head to there now. Minimise killing guards where possible, but do remember, once you have left the compound in stealth, getting spotted now will not prevent getting the elite challenge. It seems Mr. Rubio has woken up into his nightmare, all over again. How heavy is a brick of plutonium? Very heavy. Take my advice, you need to run fast, back light. 
To avoid alerting the island after leaving, you should kill the driver of the jeep doing laps around the compound. You can also stand right underneath El Rubio's Valkyrie and not be seen. If you are spotted, just make your way off the island as soon as you've grabbed everything you need. Oh dear. I think Mr. Rubio has your position. For my solo run, this is the route I took, entering through the front. Well, well, you have done this so often that you hardly need me. You should be doing this with your eyes closed this time, yes? <laughs> no, no, do, do not worry, I shall be here. I will not miss this for anything. Now, make your preparations, you will be ashore soon. solo elite run was 6 minutes. When we did it as a 2 player, we took this route after entering through the drainage tunnel. ¿Felipe le dio las llaves? No. ¿Me las tenía que dar? Lo vi hace poco. Sí. Seguro se lo olvidó a ese pendejo.
for another way out of there. Heads up, fresh cards inbound. Bravo! Yes, you like it, you take it. You must enter them at the same time. We completed the Elite in six and a half minutes. The K Peruku is a little bit worse, but nothing that can't be managed by simply changing your tactics slightly. I hope I've covered everything you needed to know. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.